Hi, this is Ben. I have a new charger to talk about today from XSTAR. This is the VC2. It's a USB lithium-ion battery charger with a very unique LCD display, which I'll talk about here in a few moments. And this is a, a very different type of charger than I've certainly used, and uh, I would uh, recommend it on, on various different levels. But uh, let's uh, talk about the XSTAR VC2 here. As you can see from the box, it has uh, a number of uh, attributes, which perhaps a couple of other chargers do not have. Uh, now, this isn't for NIMH batteries, which a lot of chargers that have come out recently are for, such as from Nightcore and so forth, which we've already reviewed. This one is only for lithium-ion batteries. But um, it actually turns off as soon as the uh, batteries are charged. Most chargers will run a trickle charge for uh, an indefinite period uh, if you leave the battery on the charger, but not this one. This one actually shuts off so it doesn't trickle the batteries, doesn't trickle charge them. And if the uh, voltage should fall below 3.9 volts while it's sitting on the charger, it will actually wake up and start uh, charging the battery again to bring it up to the 4.2 uh, threshold which is a very nice idea and it does do constant current constant voltage as most of them do these days and uh, the display is what sets it apart uh, here are all the batteries the lithium batteries that the VC2 will charge accurately and you can see there's a whole range here uh, some of these sizes I'm not even familiar with. Uh, so, you know, there's an awful lot that can do, awful lot of batteries it can handle. And um, what, it, uh, what some people might be a little bit skirmish about, if that's even a word, uh, what some people might feel odd about is that uh, the maximum charge current is 500 MAs. And you can see that right here. And I know there are a lot of chargers that go a thousand and perhaps even more. Most of those, though, are for um, nickel metal hydride, the NIMH, as, as far as I know. Um, but um, anyway, this does do 500 MA with, with two uh, batteries. And um, But, I, you know, I don't think it makes that much difference. It may add a, an hour or two, perhaps, to some batteries charge time but it does a heck of a job and if you have a whole bunch of batteries on hand in your uh, in your arsenal I don't think that makes any difference anyway let's uh, this is the box as you can see and inside the box you get the charger which is actually contained in this nice little bag and this is kinda handy for uh, taking it places and so forth um, you'll also get the um, USB uh, let's see we have a it has the USB uh, charger, uh, the USB cord, I should say, which is right here. And uh, this is a standard end, and uh, which, you know, will fit in a lot of other things as well. And here you have the charger. It's a pretty good compact size. It's a two-bay with a very nice uh, spring action here, which uh, has a lot of uh, give to them. There's the uh, connector. For the USB and here you have a, um, a seal of approval done here if you will just to make sure that it is an authentic uh, XSTAR product and uh, on the back the usual bits of information with some of the batteries that it that it charges so um, I can plug it in and what will actually happen on this charger depending on the power source is how much current it delivers if you were to plug this into a computer or perhaps even a car or another device with just the USB on the end you will get approximately 350 MAs into the battery if you plug it into an, into an outlet uh, which I'm about to do here with uh, the use of a um, you know a standard uh, uh, household adapter an AC adapter you will then get 500 um, but that also depends too if you use if you're charging two batteries you'll get the uh, 350 um, in a computer if you're using if you're charging two batteries with the AC you'll get 500 but you can also get 500 by charging one battery in the charger and using the computer 
So depending on how many batteries and the current source, the source in which you are giving the unit current by, that will depend on how, on how many MAs your battery is being, um, is being fed, so to speak. So anyway, let me plug this in and uh, you'll see what it does. Oops, our light fell over and here we go. This is the VC2 charger and this is the display I was talking about. It's very visual and let me just explain a thing or two here. Right, right at the top, you have the amount of um, you have the the amount of MAs in which the battery will receive. Right now, the dial is saying 0 0.5. Down here, you have um, well, let me let me do this. I'll put a battery in. This will make a whole lot more sense. We have a 18650 here, so I'll put this in. Okay, there you go. Can you see what's happened? On the left hand side, this is telling me right away that this battery has 3.8 volts. So right away this dial has gone to 3.8 upon the insertion of the battery. And over here, the dial is telling me that it's going to charge at 0.5 amps. Now if I had another one on the other side, which I can do, I have here a 16340, so we can put this in on the other side. And there we go. The other side is now registering um, between 3.8 and 4.1. And again, it's both, uh, the both batteries are charging at 0 0.5 amps because I have it plugged in to an electrical outlet. If I was to take that out and plug it into a computer, for instance, this would probably drop to about 3.5. And if I took one of these batteries out, while it was plugged into the computer, it would bounce back up to 0 0.5. Does that make sense? Okay, so what we're doing down here is we are also uh, counting MAH. We are also counting the current that um, the charger is putting into these batteries. See that right on the bottom where it's blinking? There it's uh, at 6 and the other one is at 11. So it's counting how much current is going into the batteries and when the battery finishes when it gets up to 4.2 that'll show the current amount the total amount of current that you put in to that battery much like an NIMH charger will do they pretty much do the same thing or at least some of them do okay so um, once it gets up to 4.2 of course you'll see these dials go up these will go up to a maximum of 4.2 showing that the battery is completely charged now what I did earlier was I put um, this 14500 into the charger and when I put it in it was pretty much the protection circuit had already kicked in. Uh, in other words I was using it in a flashlight and um, the protection circuit already kicked in and the light shut off. So as ostensibly this battery had no more power in it. I put it in the charger and it registered, registered ex at exactly 3 volts exactly three volts when I put it in and I ran it until it stopped it went up to 4.2 and the total number of MAH that was put into this battery was 734 now right here you'll see that this battery is supposed to hold 900 see the capacity right there 900 MAH well according to this charger at exactly at precise, you know, at three volts, the charger charged this battery with 734 mAh, not 900. So what this charger will do is tell you often enough if your battery is completely depleted, it'll tell you exactly how much mAh can be fed into the battery. So whereas this particular battery, the 900 may not be correct. It probably isn't correct because the charger put in 734. So that's a handy little feature to have so you know how good your batteries are. Another thing this charger will do is wake up batteries that are ostensibly dead. Um, if you put a battery in here that is at, uh, and, 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 the, and if the charger reaches zero volts when you put the battery in, if it's all the way down at zero volts, um, it will try for about 10 minutes to actually wake the battery up and revive it completely. If it can't do that, it'll display null in the display and tell you it can't do it. 
but if it's able to revive that battery then it will do so and uh, that's also another nice feature but that's that's pretty much what this charger does uh, two batteries one battery different sizes you know all the different types of batteries um, as it says on the box you can use here in the VC2 um, I found it uh, pretty useful and um, it's nice it's kind of even just fun to sit and watch the little dials go the little little dials uh, creep up to the 4.2 and then you know your battery's charged and by the way once it does completely charge them these displays down here will read full and the display will blink it'll flash like uh, three times every 10 seconds so this will be flashing and it'll say full down at the bottom so there'll be no um, you know no question about whether your batteries are charged and if one of them is charged and the other one isn't then of course you know this one will say full and the other one will continue going so uh, you can't go wrong with the VC2 charger from XSTAR I do not believe um, you can check out my website at lightsandgear.com where there'll be a link to purchase the charger and other flashlights batteries and so forth that's at lightsandgear.com I do appreciate you looking and I hope you found this very useful and check out the VC2 and have a nice day. Thanks. Bye-bye.